Hello, and good afternoon all. I know I'm going to be a little late for this, but the more I read about it and hear about it, the more I think Biden's an idiot. More of an idiot. I always thought he was an idiot. Well, um, you know about that remark he made, uh, if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. Well, let's just read about it and see what, <coughs> uh, read about what everything happened. Joe Biden was accused of making a racist comment by critics on Friday after he argued African Americans who can't decide whether to vote for him or Trump ain't black. Yeah, imagine if uh, Trump said something like that. Trump 2020 senior advisor Katrina Pearson said that Biden's comments were racist and dehumanizing. The Trump campaign has released a statement from Black Voices for Trump that slammed Joe Biden's racist remarks. He truly believes that he's a 77-year-old white man should dictate how black people should behave, Pearson said in a statement. Are they still thinking of their blacks being um, on the plantations? The presumption Democratic presidential nominee made the comments during an interview with Charlemagne the God on a radio show, The Breakfast Club, as he defended his record with the black community. If I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black, Biden said. He's a friggin' idiot. After the interview, Charlemagne the God retweeted criticism of Biden. The Breakfast Club Twitter account also put up a poll asking his followers if he agreed with Biden's comment. And about nearly 40,000, 89.6% of the respondents disagreed with the remarks. The You Ain't Black comment also reverberated on social media, social media igniting a blowback from black Republicans. Senator Tim Scott, a Republican from South Carolina, said, such an arrogant, condescending comment are not surprising considering Biden's record in sponsoring a crime bill in the 1990s that jailed more African American male than any other legislation. He called it the most arrogant, outrageous comment that I ever heard in a long time. I call it one of the dumbest things he's that's been said in a long time. And President Trump comes along and through his criminal justice reform corrects the Absolute mistake made by Joe Biden. 1.3 million African Americans voted, voted for Trump. God said, he's saying that 1.3 million African Americans that you are not black. Who in the hell, hell does he think he is? The most arrogant, outrageous comment I've heard in a very long, and I take offense to it. And Trump. In a Trump campaign conference call, Scott also voiced his, his offense to the comments. I thought to myself, as an African American, been black for 54 years, I was struck by the condescending and arrogance in his comments, he said. This is a type of negative race baiting rhetoric that is the lowest denominator in this nation, and it's got to stop. I agree. Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican from South Carolina, said that Biden's comments were truly offensive, but a rare and honest insight into liberals thinking. <laughs> liberals believe you really can't be black, Latino, female, in, or intelligence unless you support their liberal agenda. Yes, they're always like that. The Trump 2020 senior advisor, Leo Trump, asked what would happen if President Trump made the same remarks. Yes, I agree. What would happen? What if Trump had said this? Will Joe Biden get a pass on it? I had to watch it three times to make sure I actually heard what he said, she wrote. Yeah, she's... The mainstream media are kind of like in a pickle now. They want to support him, but... Trump's campaign communication director, Tim Muttock, spotlighted a quote from... Kanye West, a prominent African-American supporter of Trump, saying, I will not be told who I'm going to vote for because of my color. Yeah, West is um, very free-thinking and, and says what he wants. Trump can campaign manager Brad Parscale said Biden's remark was the height of elitist Democrat arrogance. 
Only one candidate has approved the lives of black Americans, Donald J. Trump. Parcel continued, only one candidate in this race favors mass incarceration, including for minor offenses, sleepy Joe Biden. <laughs> Damn. The ladies, this, ladies and gentlemen, is why they very rarely let Joe Biden do anything that isn't completely controlled and scripted, Murtaugh said. Sometimes he actually says what he thinks. In a later trip, he had, tweet, he added, Joe Biden is, a, is, is an essential threat to the Joe Biden campaign. <laughs> yes, he's his own worst enemy. Trump really don't have to do nothing. Just have to wait for Joe Biden to talk. But Biden campaign advisor Seymour Sanders defended the campaign comments stressing Biden record with the black community and saying the comments made at the end of the Breakfast Club interview were in jest. Uh, no, it didn't sound like he was joking, but let's be clear about what the VP was saying. He was making the distinction that he would put his record with the African-American community up against Trump's any day, period. <coughs> the other Democrats and other Democrats argued Black voters ain't going to abandon Biden over the comments. Trump is a bigger and a loser, one Democrat was told Fox News. Black flow voters know that and how, and they know Joe Biden was on their team. Uh, no, you guys are just trying to spin it. Biden has enjoyed widespread support among black voters, not just in the general election polls. Fox News, Fox News polling shows black voters favored Favored Biden over Trump 76 to 12 percent. But during the primary battle, his victory in South Carolina primary, boosted by black voter support, helped revive his then struggling campaign and catapulted him towards dominating performance on Super Tuesday. Yeah, but uh, everyone else in that field sucked ass. And Trump is going to make a fool out of him in the election, which is great. So, yeah, you know how I think about it. I think Biden is a fool. Uh, what do you think? So let, let me know what you think about Biden. Did he go too far? Do you think he just sunk his campaign? And if you made it this far, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, it's like 90% of people who view my videos are not subscribed. And as always, be safe, have fun, and be good. Bye-bye.